Hey kids, welcome to a journey through the wonders of our solar system. Today we embark on an exhilarating exploration of the celestial bodies that dance around our brilliant sun. From the fiery depths of Mercury to the icy expanse of Neptune, join me as we uncover the mysteries and marvels of our cosmic neighborhood. So sit back, relax, and let's blast off into the vastness of space together. First stop, Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. This icy blue world is known for its deep blue color due to the presence of methane in its atmosphere. Neptune has the strongest winds in the solar system, with speeds reaching up to 1,500 miles per hour. It's a mysterious and fascinating planet that's waiting to be explored. Neptune takes approximately 165 Earth years, 60,190 Earth days, to complete one orbit around the Sun. Neptune is about 3.88 times the size of Earth. Next up, Uranus. This planet is unique because it spins on its side, unlike any other planet in our solar system. It's often referred to as an ice giant because it's made mostly of ice and rock. Uranus has a total of 27 moons, each with its own story to tell. It's a quirky and intriguing planet that's full of surprises. Uranus takes approximately 84 Earth years, 30,687 Earth days, to complete one orbit around the Sun. Uranus is about 4.01 times the size of Earth. Now we're at Saturn, the ringmaster of the solar system. Those iconic rings are made up of billions of particles, ranging in size from tiny grains to massive boulders. Saturn is not only known for its rings, but also for its many moons. It has a whopping 82 moons, each with its own unique characteristics. It's a dazzling and enchanting planet that never fails to amaze. Saturn takes approximately 29.5 Earth years, 10,759 Earth days, to complete one orbit around the Sun. Saturn is about 9.45 times the size of Earth. Behold Jupiter, the giant of the solar system. This gas giant is so massive that it could fit all the other planets inside it. Jupiter is home to the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has been raging for centuries. It also has a strong magnetic field that creates intense radiation belts around the planet. Jupiter is a powerful and awe-inspiring planet that commands attention. Jupiter takes approximately 11.9 Earth years, 4,333 Earth days, to complete one orbit around the Sun. Jupiter is about 11.2 times the size of Earth. Time to visit the red planet Mars. This dusty world is often called the red planet due to its rusty red surface. Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which stands three times taller than Mount Everest. It's also home to Valles Marineris, a massive canyon system that stretches over 2,500 miles long. Mars is a rugged and adventurous planet that's waiting to be explored. Mars takes 687 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. Mars is about 0.53 times the size of Earth. The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite and is the fifth largest moon in the solar system. It is about one-sixth the size of Earth and is approximately 384,400 kilometers, 238,855 miles, away from our planet. The Moon has played a significant role in shaping Earth's history and continues to influence our planet in various ways. Studying the Moon provides valuable insights into the early history of the solar system and helps scientists better understand planetary processes. Now we're on Earth, the coolest planet in the solar system, literally. Our planet is the only one known to support life, with diverse ecosystems and a rich variety of plant and animal species. Earth has a protective atmosphere that shields us from harmful solar radiation and regulates our climate. It's a beautiful and precious planet that we must cherish and protect. Earth takes 365.25 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. Next up, Venus. This planet is like a cosmic sauna. It's so hot you could bake cookies on its surface. Venus has a thick atmosphere made up of carbon dioxide, which traps heat and creates a scorching greenhouse effect. It's also home to sulfuric acid clouds that produce acid rain showers. Venus is a hellish and inhospitable planet that's not for the faint of heart. Venus takes 225 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. 
Venus is about 0.95 times the size of Earth. Last but not least, Mercury. This small planet is the closest one to the Sun, making it a scorching hot world with extreme temperature variations. Despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury has ice at its poles due to its lack of atmosphere to trap heat. It's also covered in craters from impacts with asteroids and comets. Mercury is a rugged and resilient planet that defies expectations. Mercury takes 88 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. Mercury is about 0.38 times the size of Earth. E. And how could we forget the star of the show, the Sun? Our beloved Sun is a massive ball of hot, glowing gas that provides light and heat to all the planets in our solar system. The Sun is significantly larger than Earth. In terms of size, the Sun is approximately 109 times the diameter of Earth. This means that you could fit about 1.3 million Earths inside the Sun. The Sun is a massive star compared to the planets in our solar system. The Sun's energy is generated through nuclear fusion, where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. It's a brilliant and life-giving star that we owe our existence to. Next, Pluto, the cosmic underdog that went from planet to dwarf. For many years, Pluto was considered the ninth planet in our solar system. However, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet due to its small size and its orbit crossing the path of Neptune. The decision to reclassify Pluto was based on a new definition of what constitutes a planet. According to the IAU, a planet must meet three criteria. It must orbit the sun, it must be spherical in shape, and it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto meets the first two criteria but fails the third, as it shares its orbit with other objects in the Kuiper Belt. Despite no longer being considered a planet, Pluto remains a fascinating object of study in our solar system. Pluto is significantly smaller than Earth, with a diameter of about 2,377 kilometers compared to Earth's diameter of approximately 12,742 kilometers. In terms of its orbit around the Sun, Pluto takes about 248 Earth years to complete one revolution. This means that a year on Pluto is equivalent to about 248 Earth years. Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the Sun. They are remnants from the early formation of the solar system and are primarily found in the asteroid belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter. There are also asteroids that come close to Earth, known as near-Earth asteroids. Asteroids vary in size, shape, and composition. Some are as small as boulders, while others can be hundreds of kilometers in diameter. They are made up of rock, metal, and sometimes ice. The largest asteroid in the asteroid belt is Ceres, which is classified as a dwarf planet due to its size. Asteroids can occasionally collide with planets or moons, leading to impact craters. One famous example is the Chicxulub crater in Mexico, which is believed to have been caused by an asteroid impact and is associated with the extinction of the dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Hey Kids channel for exciting explorations into various animals, vegetables, planets, kids' stories, and much more.